the reason so many toxic people and narcissists can get can get away with hurting people and abusing them is because there are people out there who allow it. So you can't really expect people who who need to get the supply from controlling, you know, hurting people. You can't expect them to stop what they're doing if there are many people out there who allow themselves to become the victim. So I guess the question is why do why do so many people allow themselves to be victimized? Well, some people who who may have very low self-esteem or maybe they they experienced a lot of that growing up. They they might feel that they deserve it, that they might feel that being abused is normal. So they don't really put a stop to it and they let people get away with hurting them for long periods of time before they try to do something about it if ever. But then there are other people who who don't necessarily have, who don't necessarily think that you know abuse is normal, who don't necessarily think that being used is normal, but they they can still fall into that trap. And the reason that those people find themselves in that situation is because they have certain blind spots. There are certain aspects about themselves that the narcissist, the toxic manipulator, you know, the perpetrator, that they they can see about that person, and that person doesn't see it about themselves. So it could be, for example, that someone d- doesn't feel seen, doesn't feel like they, they, you know, contribute anything to, to, to life, to, to society and, or to other people. And then the narcissist gives them validation, makes them feel good about themselves. And that person might only ever get validation from the narcissist, even though it's fake and phony. But because the narcissist gives it to them, it kind of gives them that 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 positive, you know, in, in quotation, that positive feedback that they never get from other people. And because the narcissist might be the one to to validate them in that way, um, if the narcissist goes through a few positive feedback loops of just validating the person, making the person feel seen, maybe making the person feel beautiful, making the person feel smart, making the person feel like they have good ideas, that you know they they're worthy of you know the narcissist's time. When they when they get that person to to start feeling the 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 positive effect of that, that person becomes dependent on that validation from the narcissist because they don't get it from anybody else. Which then means that the narcissist can intermittently give them positive, you know, positive feedback, positive praise, positive comments. But then for the vast majority of the time, the narcissist can abuse the person. The narcissist can can use them for their selfish purposes, whether it's, you know, for money, for just doing favors here, here and there, just having somebody to lash out at when they need. Um, if it's if it's like in a romantic setting, it could be for sexual purposes also. Um, but so the narcissist will, you know, they'll, they'll use the person in whatever way they can, but as long as they're giving just a little bit, just crumbs of the, the thing that that other person needs in this, in this example is validation. That's enough to keep the person around for a long, long time. So that's oftentimes a narcissist will see that blind spot in somebody, which is the, the person doesn't realize how needy they are for external validation. But the narcissist does. And the narcissist thinks, I'm going to use that as a leverage point against them. You know, another blind spot, for for example, is just, you know, somebody thinking that they're unlovable, that nobody would truly care about them. You know, that nobody wants to build a, a real emotional bond with them. Maybe the person grew up not having that or they just, you know, feel lonely and the narcissist makes them makes them feel loved and like they're not alone because the narcissist sees them again that can be another blind spot on the person who's on the on the receiving end because the narcissist can shower that person with with you know loving attention loving affection making the person feel like they're they're not alone you know the narcissist has their back the narcissist has their best interest at heart and once the person absorbs that and then they quickly become dependent on that the narcissist can then switch where instead of being a fully love a fully loving and attentive person they'll give that out maybe one or two percent of the time and then you know 98 99 percent of the time 
the Norris's will be indifferent towards them. They'll be doing their own thing. They might be scouting out other supply, other people who they want to bring into their orbit. Um, they could, and in, in, when they are with a person, instead of being loving and affectionate, they'll just use that person as a kind of a punching bag. Whenever they're not in a good mood, they'll they'll kind of project that into the other person, make the other person feel bad, so the narcissist can feel better about themselves, and and so on. But again, that that's a blind spot because the person doesn't realize that they are in such dire need of of, of that thing, which in this case was that that love, affection, um, that feeling of belonging, you know, with with, with the narcissist, that they 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 allow themselves to take a lot of crap later, and then they, they feel like they have no way out. Um, and it goes on. So it's just, there, there's so many blind spots that people can have um, where the, if if you are aware of your own blind spots, those things about you that maybe you're still working on, then if somebody tries to to use you by using that blind spot as leverage, it you may still feel tempted to connect with that person. You may still feel tempted to form a bond with that person, even though you know it's going to get nasty later. But you can put a stop to it, and you you can allow yourself not to let it go too far. And even if it does take go to a step too far, you can you know you can go into the process of start setting it into reverse, kind of reversing yourself out because you are aware of what's happening. You are aware of how that person's using your own weaknesses against you. But when you don't see your blind spots, that's when these people can use that blind spot as leverage. And that's what toxic manipulators and narcissists do. They're always trying to find that point of leverage. What is it about this person that that can allow me to to gain control? To use them from, you know, from for the narcissist purposes, not your purpose. So this whole point about knowing your blind your, your blind spots is can can, can really save you in all settings because any anywhere we have interactions with people whenever somebody wants to control you for unhealthy reasons unless they unless they can unless they can find your blind spot and leverage that against you they really can't control you and as long as you are self aware of your own imperfections your own weaknesses then you can really you can really mitigate your um, subjecting yourself to, to that kind of treatment.